What's up guys, my name is Devin, also known as FBE, and welcome back to another episode of Footballers. Today we're going to be reviewing the Zenith Velocity 2 shoulder pads. If you guys have not seen the unboxing for these shoulder pads, you gotta go check it out before you watch this video. First off, I want to give a huge shout out to Zenith for sending us these shoulder pads to review on the channel. So this is the first time I've reviewed shoulder pads on this channel, so here are the things I'm going to be talking about in today's video. First thing we're going to talk about is the comfort. Then we're going to talk about the weight, the fit, the range of motion, protection, of course, then style, positions, and price. Let's dive right into it. Starting off with comfort, these shoulder pads are incredibly comfortable. They have a couple of different foams throughout the shoulder pad that feel like they mold to your body and move with you. The foam on the top of your shoulder is super thick and absorbs a lot of contact. Then the foam you guys see on the front and back of these shoulder pads is Zenith's Air Management System foam. It's super light, it's really comfortable, and it feels similar to a mattress. Also, this neck roll is super soft, so when it rides up into your neck, it doesn't hurt too bad. Now let's talk about the main selling point of these shoulder pads, and that is the weight. These things only weigh 3.5 pounds, which is insanely light for a shoulder pad. These are easily the lightest shoulder pads I've ever worn, and you can truly feel the difference on the field. They're super low key, but still really protective. Now let's talk about the fit of the shoulder pads. I got a small because first of all, I'm a small guy, and second of all, I like my pads to stay pretty small. These belts you guys stay here, lock the shoulder pad on, and it stays put the entire workout, practice, or game. Personally, I don't trust shoulder pads that don't have these belts. I grew up when they just had those elastics with the T-hook, and those suck compared to belts. Another fit-related thing about these is that the pads truly feel like they move with you. When you move your body, they kind of they move with you. They don't constrict you or keep you in one place. And that leads me into my next category, range of motion. So the range of motion I had while wearing these shoulder pads is some of the best I've ever had. Since they're so low key and move with you, it's so easy to go up and grab a pass with very minimal restriction. Of course, you're still wearing shoulder pads, so you're not going to have the same range of motion as if you're just in a t-shirt, but it's still really good. Also, for all my QBs out there, I did throw some passes in these shoulder pads and I felt little to no restriction whatsoever. So all you QBs, feel free to spin it. Now let's talk about one of the most important aspects when talking about shoulder pads, the protection. So I did do some hitting drills in these and I felt completely protected the entire time. This plastic shell is tough and the foam I talked about earlier seems to absorb all of the contact. I was a little sore the next day, but that's probably because I haven't played contact football in a very long time. But like I said, I felt protected the entire time. Everywhere this shoulder pad covered was completely safe. Now let's talk about the style of the shoulder pads. So of course, most people aren't even gonna see your shoulder pads because you'll likely have a jersey over them. But these pads do look really good as you guys can see here on your screen. The satin finish on these is really clean and the new Zenith logos are super sharp. Also, this shoulder pad comes with a place to hook up a back plate, which is awesome. Now let's talk about what positions these are best for. So these shoulder pads are advertised as a shoulder pad for every single player on the field. If you guys watch the unboxing, you already know that. But now that I've got a chance to test them out and review them, I'm gonna have to agree with Zenith on this one. I feel like anybody on the field can wear these. They're lightweight, they're comfortable, and they protect you. What more could you possibly want? Also, they have a full range of motion, which is important for QBs, wide receivers, linemen, literally like everybody on the field. Now let's talk about the price of these shoulder pads. So these shoulder pads, the Zenith Velocity 2, retail for $200. That's a super fair price and cheaper than some of the adult models from Riddell and Shut. And it's definitely cheaper than some of the high-end shoulder pads from Douglas and x -Tech. Those things will run you 500 plus. But again, $200 for these is a great deal. They're going to protect you, they're comfortable, and you've got tons of range of motion. So overall, these things are sweet. They're super light, they're comfy, they're protective. They're incredibly light, they're comfortable, they're protective, and they're built for all players. What more can you ask for from a $200 pair of shoulder pads? So there you guys have it. There is the full review on the Zenith Velocity 2 shoulder pads. Shout out again to Zenith for sending these shoulder pads my way for review. If you guys do want to cop a pair, we do have a link in the description for you guys. So go check that out if you guys want to get a pair. So if you guys did enjoy this video, consider a like, comment your favorite pair of shoulder pads, and subscribe for more videos like this. My name is Devin, also known as FBE, and thanks again for tuning in to another episode of Footballers.